the divorce process is very straightforward. It's administrative, it's paperwork. There's some excellent online material. The government in particular has um, got a website, I think it's www.gov.uk, and it provides you all the information that um, someone would need. Um, so in particular, what you need to bear in mind when you start the divorce is the grounds and the facts on which you rely upon. There is only one ground, it's irretrievable breakdown of the marriage, which can be evidenced by one of five facts. The facts, are, I mean, most people probably know it's adultery, but it's unreasonable behaviour, two years separation with consent, desertion, five years separation. So once you've decided on the fact, you would draft up the petition. Typically, you would have a lawyer. But it is easy as a litigant in person to prepare these documents and the information is online to do that. So once you've prepared the document, what you should ideally do is to share it with your spouse. Now that seems counterintuitive, but if you're alleging a fault, it's better to share the document because then you can screen for problems, do a risk assessment at that point. So if you proceed headlong with a um, uh, petition which is unacceptable to your um, uh, spouse, then if it's defended, that could be difficult, expensive, acrimonious. So try and screen out the problem. If you've been able to have a sensible discussion about the content, you would then file it with the court. The court would process it and send an acknowledgement pack to the um, spouse who would then be the respondent. So the person sending the petitioner is the petitioner, the receiver is the respondent, and you would um, the terminology remains the same throughout the process. The respondent, when he or she receives the acknowledgement pack, has to complete a fairly straightforward form. Um, and one of the items on the form is, do you want to defend? So you really want to have a no to that question, because otherwise you may be in some difficulty. But assuming all is good, the acknowledgement is filed with the court by the respondent, and a petitioner will then apply for, effectively, decree nisi. Now, decree nisi is a halfway house. It's a provisional decree. Um, where the court will, um, uh, will let the parties know or inform the petitioner that it's satisfied that the divorce can continue. It's usually um, a um, stage where no attendance of the parties is required, unless there's a small issue. So after decree nisi, which is the middle stage of divorce, providing all is well, you can then apply for decree absolute in um, six weeks and one day. In most cases, if you have a very straightforward procedure, it will only take around four to five months to start the divorce and to complete the divorce. But it's very uncommon, in fact, because most people have financial issues they need to deal with, or children issues running alongside, which can slow the process down. But if it's a relatively short marriage, no particular issues, four to five months.